Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 10 of my code refactoring tutorial. Today, I'm going to revisit a design pattern that for some reason I've received many questions about, and that is the builder design pattern. And the reason why I decided to do this, not only because I get questions about it all the time, but also I'm going to show you in the next part of the tutorial how to use the builder design pattern to design composites, which is what we talked about in code refactoring part 9. So just to briefly go over this, the builder design pattern allows you to build complex objects in a series of steps. What you're going to do is you're going to define an object class and in this tutorial we're going to talk about the sandwich class. Then you're going to create an abstract class that's going to contain all of the methods that you want each class of type sandwich to then implement in their own way. Then you're going to have another class that's known as the director and it's going to be asked for a specific type of sandwich. Whenever it's asked for that it is then going to initialize that sandwich object and then provide it. So that's enough talking, let's get into the code. Now all of this code of course is available in a link underneath the video and you should take a look at it because it's heavily commented and it will help you learn this stuff. So here is our sandwich class. Like I said, the builder pattern is going to allow me to build complex objects in a series of steps. That is just what's going to go on. So what we're going to do here is define all the different things that we want our sandwich to have. So let's say private string and every sandwich is going to have a specific type of bread. And we're going to define a couple other things here. So this is going to be true for all of the different type of sandwich objects you want to build. And let's say we also want vegetables and let's also say we're going to have a certain type of meat and maybe a certain type of cheese and then condiments. Then after that we're not really going to do much else with this guy. We're just going to come in here and create all of our getters and setters. So inside of Eclipse I'm just going to go to source and then I'm going to come down here to generate getters and setters and I'm going to say that I want bread, cheese, meat, and vegetables, all of those to be created and then I want them to show up after the condiments and hit OK. And there we go. Now we have our basic sandwich class defined. And the only thing I'm going to add to this, which is a pretty simple definition, is the toString method. And it is going to return all of our information onto the screen. So just get bread, get vegetables, get meat, get cheese, and then get condiments. So that is all our sandwich class is going to do. So now we're going to jump over into Sandwich Builder and build some more things. Now the very first thing we're going to do is create our Builder Abstract class. And like I said before, it's going to define all the methods that each sandwich object then must contain. And what all these methods do is completely up to the subclass that is going to extend this Builder. So that's why it is flexible. So we're just going to call this Sandwich Builder and it is going to contain one of the objects that we are going to be working working with here and then we're going to go public sandwich provide a way to get access to our sandwich of course and it's just going to return sandwich and then we're also going to create a way to make a sandwich and sandwich is equal to new sandwich and then we're going to define all of the different classes that the subclass must create but we don't really particularly care how they do it so build bread build vegetables build meat build cheese and condiments and that is it that is going to be our builder class then after that is all set up we're now going to create a very specific class of type builder so it's going to be blt bacon lettuce tomato sandwich and it's going to extend sandwich builder and then of course it's going to tell me all the methods that i need to implement so just add unimplemented methods and there's a whole ton of them and then i'm going to come in here and just define exactly how i am going to create these and by doing that i'm going to go sandwich and this one's going to be set bread i could have this do numerous different things but in this situation that's what i'm doing and i can say white bread and then for build vegetables this of course is going to be set vegetables and let's say that we want this to be lettuce and tomato build meat is going to be set meat and that's going to be bacon of course build cheese it's going to be set cheese and i can have any methods you can imagine fire in here of course and in this situation i'm just going to put nothing and then build condiments this is going to be set condiments and here i'm going to put mayonnaise all right 
So that's all set up. So that is a very specific type of builder, the bacon, lettuce, tomato builder of type sandwich builder. And now I need to create what is called the director, which is, like I said before, going to assign the type of sandwich to build. And then it's going to call and initialize all those methods that we have up there. So I'm going to call this sandwich artist and I'm going to go private and this is going to contain a sandwich builder and then I'm going to have to provide an option for setting the type of sandwich builder what type of sandwich we want to build and sandwich builder is going to be passed inside of that and then we're just going to assign that here there we are and we're going to provide a way for them to get our sandwich return and then we're going to call sandwich builder get sandwich which is going to return at for us and then we want to provide a way to initialize everything in the sandwich and i'm going to call this take sandwich order and then we're just going to call sandwich builder whatever it is and we know all these methods are going to exist inside of this so we're going to go make sandwich and make sandwich up here is just going to assign the type of sandwich just like we have there and then we're going to have it initialize everything so we can just come in here and go build bread build vegetables build meat build cheese and finally build condiments and that is all set up and now we can test it with test builder to make sure we set everything up right so we're going to call sandwich artist which as you just saw is also known as a director has all the methods for assigning the sandwich to build initializing it and then providing the object once we ask for it again and i'm going to call our sandwich artist paul and we're just going to go new sandwich artist then we want to designate the specific type of sandwich object we want to build and as you can think there are numerous different types of sandwiches this thing could make blt builder is what i'm going to call it and it's new blt builder like that then i'm going to have paul assign the specific sandwich to build so set sandwich builder and then pass over blt builder inside of it like that then i need to initialize everything and i'm going to do this by calling take sandwich order like that then i need to provide the specific sandwich object so I'm going to go sandwich, BLT sandwich, and go Paul, get sandwich, and he will return my sandwich to me. And then if I want to print out everything here to make sure that everything went in and came out the right way, because I have two string in there, I can just call that and it will print. And there you go. White bread, lettuce, tomato, bacon, and mayonnaise. So there is another example of the builder pattern. I provide a link to yet another example just to make sure you completely understand it because in the next part of the tutorial, we're going to use builders to create composites. Please leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.